In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Next.js 13 application on Vercel. And first, what we're going to do, we are going to clean a little bit this application that is running on localhost 3000. So if I come back to my project in here, I got my layout that is displaying my body. And here I got this home component, which is the page.tsx, which is the root uh, of my application. This is the first page, the home page that is going to be displayed through the layout, but we are going to see that later. And I got a lot of code and I got mainly uh, some um, Tailwind CSS code. So I'm going to run uh, this. I'm going to type hello world instead of everything that I got. I'm going to probably remove this and I'm just going to put this main that we got in here. Okay, so if I come back to the app, what's happening in here, we got the uh, black background with hello world that is here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to get back and I'm going to go on Vercel.com. Vercel.com is the company that is actually maintaining and working on Next.js 13, right? So here on Vercel, you can deploy your application. So you are going to click on login. And if you don't have an account, you are going to create one. Once you're logged in, you arrived on the dashboard of Vercel. And if you don't have any project, you should have a, a message saying that you have to create one project. And here we see that I already got one project from a previous video that I made on Superbase with Next.js. Okay, so here I'm on my account, so Guillaume Dion. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on add new. And when I click on add new, I can have several options. What I want to do is add a new project. So if I click on project, what's happening in here is that it's going to look at all my projects linked to my GitHub account. So right now, this project is not on GitHub. I have to push it first on my GitHub. Then I will be able to retrieve it here and import it. All right, on GitHub, I'm going to create a, a new repository name, which will be here Next.js 13 course. There we go. And it's going to be public. I'm going to click on create repository. And once my repository has been created, what I can do is I can add all the files that I got here. So I'm going to stop and type git add. Okay, git init first. And then git add. And then I'm going to push all of the project to the repository. If I come back to GitHub and I update here, I'm supposed to have all the project. And there we go, I can come back on Vercel and deploy my application. Back on Vercel, we see that I got my project, which is here, Next.js 13 course. I'm going to click on import. And here I got several options. It's asking me for several options. Now that we know that Vercel made Next.js 13, we could think that we have some configuration to do. Actually, we don't. So here, I'm, if I'm clicking on deploying, what's going to happen is that it's going to take the repository that we got in here, and it's going to build the project. So here we have the log on building. We can watch at all the logs uh, while the project is going to be built, and then we're going to have it live. While the project is being loaded, we can see that we've got the same uh, actually the same logs as we have when we build the application in the previous video. We see at the end that now we've got the deploy outputs and suddenly, there we go, congratulations, you just developed a new project on Vercel and we have a preview here, black screen with just our hello world. And if I click on it, it's going to open my nextjs 13 coursevercelapp And if I look at it, there we go. We've got the application that is available on the URL, and I'm going to show it to you, nextjs 13 coursevercelapp So we succeed in just like a minute to deploy our web application directly on Vercel. What I really um, uh, advise you to do is that when you are going to launch a web application on production, what you want to do is to deploy immediately the first version, even if there's nothing, even if there's only a hello world online. So from this point, you are able to do branches, to create branches, to create staging, because we haven't seen it yet, but later Vercel allows us to um, actually create automatic deployments from branches. So in the future, probably here, I'm on main, the main branch, but if I got more branch, Vercel is going to build every branch. So Vercel is basically creating automatic staging for us. 
That's what I advise you to do. The first time you are going to create your application, you should directly deploy your application on Vercel. 